What's up everyone? So Scrub here back in another video. So today we'll be playing 60 par 6. So me and Fran actually made a video about this yesterday and I actually wasn't satisfied with the end result. So here am I gonna make another video about this game and don't worry, actually they haven't gone too far in the story yet. So if you're cool with that, let's get started. No more talking and of course, I almost forgot, I'm gonna show you a clip of me panicking of my first try in 60 par 6. So I hope you'll enjoy. No Find the crewmate. Oh, that's freaking easy. We I got see. this guy over here. Just get him. Oh yeah. Three slots. Oh, freaking easy. Alert. What do you mean alert? Intel missile detected. High risk of- What the heck? Oh no. Yo, yo. Whoever and whoever. You got what the heck? Dude, that's so sudden! Crap! Crap, run, 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 Put it in the shadow. Go, go, crap, go, go, crap, crap, crap. Uh, no, put that crap. In the shadow. Uh, crap, oh crap, 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 crap. We gotta move, we gotta I didn't go, expect we gotta... that. What the heck? We have freaking 60 seconds. Run, tell me if, if it's yeah. freaking time. Holy cow, what the heck? Uh, oh, I'm it's taking over the freaking space. Holy cow. Holy cow, holy cow, holy fucking cow. Go grab a chump or something. Go, go, go. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, what the heck? Um, Let's just grab all the freaking crewmates. Uh, what the, where the other run at? Where the other run at? Uh, uh, so get hell, you. Go, go, go. Oh, yo, crap. Yo, oh, no. yo, yo. Just it's go, almost go, go. there. It's almost there. What the heck? Get the uh, soup. Yep. Get the freaking lighter. Get, get the freaking lighter. Let's go, let's go. Uh, are we good? Ah, screw it. So yeah, that was my first try of 60 par 6. So actually after this, I'm just gonna grab a crewmate and the real challenge begins after I drop the crewmate here. So, let's get started. Freaking ready? Okay. Everybody if we can. Okay, let's freaking go. Oh, come on, man. Grab the chump there. Let's grab some food. Some soup. And let's grab... What the heck, man? Come on. Still haven't learned my lesson. Oh, let's grab a freaking... I don't know what the heck that is. Drop that crap. Oh, yeah? Grab, grab the chump. Come on! Take that, okay. Atomic battery, some soup. Come on, run! Freaking run, freaking run, freaking run. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just freaking grab this crap! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, God, crap, crap! Ugh. Oh, yeah! Okay, welcome back. So the Earth just got blown off and we're in some kind of spaceship. So, yeah, day one. Check the star log first, I think this is it. Oh yeah, okay. Greetings, Astro. Computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you qualify to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the skip shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen program, please accept our apologies for the small inconvenience of being transported 60 par 6 away from Earth. First order of business. Find a safe place to land on and then try to contact the outside world. Please activate the main computer for further for further instructions. It's located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Take it away, Captain. Okay, so we just need to follow this task computer right here. Captain, this is the first day of your command and your interstellar voyage. An inspiring speech is in order. Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain, so am I. This is it. You can really show what breed of Captain will you be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? So we got three choices. We got agility, intelligence, and strength. I think... Um, hmm. Mine will be intelligence. You know? I mean, strength, I don't think that fits into a speech. And agility, I'm pretty sure that doesn't fit. So I think I'll go for intelligence and yeah. Let's end the day. Okay. 
Okay. Day two. They know you exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worth as the captain of the last human crew in the universe. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished with the speech. Long live the captain! Filled the cabin. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, that would be it. One thing's for sure, you are ready for any challenge this galaxy throws at you. You are in peak, me peak mental condition, sir. Didi says she is glad to have you as her captain. Thank you, Didi. So, just I think we just need to repeat, repeat, uh, make a do a task and then feed our crew. So yeah, Captain, it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious, delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Whatever you took from the space station will have to last you for a while. That's why it's important to keep a good inf inventory for stock. Unless you want want to eat your own crewmates. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. Please appreciate it and laugh. Look, we're bonding already. This is bonding. We will perform the routines, routine zip supply check. The only requirement is simply mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Okay, so we need a person who's good at math. And how the heck am I gonna know that? My highest bet, the... Most intelligent at math is this one, Megan Man. I think I'll pick her. Uh, I hope so, yep. Megan, I trust you with this crap. So, experiment alert. Everyone's in tip top shape, and let's end the day. Okay then. So, I hope nothing gets wrong tomorrow in day 3. Hmm. Come on, Megan, don't let us down. Good news, Captain. The shell came pre-stocked with, pre with an emergency food supply. Yes, it will. Okay. The routine supply check is now complete and now that and does not compute. An error is made. That's what I get for trusting humans to do math. What the heck? Some of the supplies went missing and the current number of soup cans on board is 7. With decent leadership and rational restraint, the reserves of food on the ship shall be sufficient for the time being. That being said, it is, it is in your best interest to procure cure more as soon as possible you're still mentally stable okay let's check our crewmates first are they still good oh my god man yep they're still good let's do the task for today okay so captain the crafting module in the back of the cabin has been activated you might remember this from your astro citizen training this wonderful machine lets you create something from almost nothing all you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. Okay, so we got crafting module here. Oh crap, we don't have any freaking resources. Well, I screwed up on that. Ah oh, crap, I think... Oh yeah, I forgot to get the supply box, damn it. Well, let's just skip that for now. Let's end the freaking day, and we're good. Let's go, day four. Crap, forgot the supply boxes. I was supposed to get them, but I was too busy panicking. At least we got the weapons and such to defend some aliens or to defend against some aliens or some crap. Captain, I told you I activated the crafting system in the back of the show. It's only collecting dust right now. Well, crap, didn't get any supplies. What's that you're drawing, Captain? Is that supposed to be ham? I understand you're fed up with soup and you're reminiscing about earth food. I would advise you to go down that room. Here, I have a useful program for just the occasion. It's called Everything is Not All Peaches and Cream. It should help you focus your mind on different things. Would you like to start this process? Hmm, everything is not all peaches and cream. I think that would be a good good choice so the crew can get used to eating soup like forever or some crap maybe okay I'll take a yes let's see let's see any hungry chumps please don't be freaking hungry because we have a limited food supply and plus we don't have any freaking supplies crap or some crafting items day five Success, Captain! 
Your cul culinary urges have been kept under control. We spent the afternoon talking about things other than food, and then circled back to agree on the many merits of tomato soup. Now we shall probably focus on surviving the mission at hand. Will you say? Remember, life is but a bowl of cherries. I'm not sure what that means, but my programming tells me it should make you feel better. You should eat something, Captain. Tom is hungry, Megan's hungry, Didi is hungry. So the entire crew is hungry. Okay. Let's feed you freaking chump some food. Let's freaking. Oh, crap. So I'm only down to three. Crap. So tomorrow I only have three soup. And I can't even craft because I don't have the resources. I think I can recycle, but I need to sacrifice one of these items. An artifact. I think we need to use that on aliens or some crap. I don't even know. I'm just guessing. Crafting module. Upgrade mode. Okay. We're good for now. Oh yeah. Haven't, made a freak, haven't done a task yet. I found a small metal box in one of the compartments labeled to search do open. You can take apart the lock and gather some elements from it, ignore what's inside, or you could try to open it, which will require the fingers. Which will it be? Agility or intelligence? I'm going for intelligence. Let's go for brains instead of brawn. Okay then. Day 6. Okay, well, what happened? You carefully dismantled the lock on the box you found in the shell. The box being useless now, you turned your attention to the parts of, of the disassembled lock. The electronic doodads look promising, but most turned out to be trash. What a waste of time. Didi reminds me. Okay. What the heck? They're still hungry? Kitsitan this. Oh, what the heck is this? Can you hear me? Captain, R, you say R in these situations, right? I hate raising my volume, but that malfunctioning body odor removal feeler is making a racket. I think it's malfunctioning. Malfunctioning. Soup or handbook? I'll go for handbook because we need to save our soup the best thing the best thing we can. So yeah, day seven. Oh yeah, let's freaking go. You fix the body order removal filler by consulting the troubleshoot troubleshooting section of the handbook and following the directions there. Not everyone loves troubleshooting sections, Captain, but I do. Everyone on board could think clear without that constant din drowning out every thought. Did you remain loyal? All chunks are freaking hungry. I only have three soup left. Oh crap, wait a minute. Gotta make a task at hand. See that lock safe in the corner, Captain? This is the Captain safe. It's meant for you. You have the code of co uh, of course? No! This dune does not compute. Were you really appointed the captain by Astro Citizen Command? I will give you the benefit of the doubt. For now, since you don't have the code, will you try to open the safe by force or are you going to rely on your dexterity? Hmm. Is it going to open the safe by force or... Strength or agility, because I'm not judging, but my crew, uh, they're not the strength type, so I'll go for agility. Oh yeah, next freaking day. Okay, it's going well so far. Day 8, I'll get it. The safe that you're attempting to crack is still shut tight. Clumsy, clumsy captain. Better luck next time. In fact, your efforts were so clumsy that you trip over the safe and smash your heads against the wall. Oh my, that's quite a bruise, captain. Are you alright? You're badly hurt, sir. Oh, come on! Uh, nah, it's still alright. still alright. Hungry, hurt. What the heck, man? Get your crap together. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them and most importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher the signal as soon as possible, for all we know, our survival depends on it. Would you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? Oh, that's hard, that's hard. I'll go for... Crap. 
for this type of crap i think megan is the freaking mvp so i'm going to put megan in charge again hope she doesn't screw up let's freaking go day nine okay first contact oh yeah Captain, you need to see this. I am not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. The signals we intercrafted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from uh, from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. You are still injured, you are starving, Captain. I recommend you to find something to eat. So, Tom says he is glad to have you as his captain. Tom is starving, better get him something to eat. Yep, he thinks of you as a friend. Damn, freaking friend zone, crap. Okay. Captain, a wondrous Astro Citizen mini reactor needs its regular coolant flush. The magnificent machine only occupies two thirds of shell storage and weighs less than a 20 ton truck. Truly a marvel of space age miniaturization, and keeping it in condi good condition is crucial yet difficult. To flush the coolant pipes, you must hum the star spangled banner while rubbing the coolant pipes for two hours straight. Tom is idle. Do you want to ask him to. Tom? Uh, sure. I'll go for freaking Tom. Uh, let's see, the freaking captain's hurt. Uh, he's freaking starving. All of your freaking. Oh crap, I didn't even have the soup. And I can't craft a soup because I'm all out of materials. Oh! Now we got materials. Heck yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna feed all of you later. Hmm, okay then. Day 10 Tom jumped at the opportunity to cycle the mini reactor school and OH! Damn! Th plus 39 battery, I think. He went the extra mile optimizing the coolant flow. This resulted in increased daily power efficiency. He saved some power already. I can't wait to let the power astro units hear about this. We'll be the talk of the Astro Citizen Town. Astro Citizen Town? Well, bad news. They're freaking dead, you know. You remain quite quite alert. You are still facing starvation, Captain. You can always crap some soup. I'm still starved. Okay, 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 okay. Crap. <laughs> so let's feed all the freaking soup with this champs over here because they're freaking starving. Our water recycler is overheating. The overheating itself isn't a problem. The system has safeguards. The problem is to store minerals under the water recycler. I'm worried that any minerals there even left over traces could melt or boil if exposed to too much heat. That could be hazardous. A manual reset could work, but will be tough. You want to try it? If someone messes up... Oh crap, someone messes up, I'm so done. Fine, let's freaking go. Let's risk it for the biscuit. End day. Oh yeah. Damn. What the heck? You up to manual reset the overheating water recycle. The job was harder than you expected. That's for season, but in water recycle, there are just special warns you against after using steam jets. During such repairs to steam jets, you let loose you for some of the exposed minerals stored next to the recycler. You're lucky they didn't vaporize you. Come on. Oh, damn it. That was one of our crafting recipes. Or crafting materials, I don't even know. Crap. You have got to be kidding me. Yo. Okay. So, let's go. Captain, there is something you need to see. The scanners have picked up a container floating in our vicinity. I wonder what's inside. What now, Captain? Should we try to pull the container on board? Heck yeah, let's freaking go. Oh yeah, let's end the freaking day. Come on. Bring me some good luck. That mysterious cargo the scanner spy yesterday is now on board. Opening the box in 3, 2, 1. It's empty! <laughs> okay. Bruh. Uh, 
Luck is never on my side. Simply completely empty. What a let down. You mean quite a lot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're screwed. Let's just craft a soup. There we freaking go. Just in case someone starves. And... Uh, I think it's good. Let's do the task. As our citizen protocol dictates that every piece of equipment must be regularly checked for breakages, extraterrestrial parasites, space-time glitches, and spells by witches. <laughs> we missed our last check. What's with all the intercellular interloping? We shall check some of our gear in some seasons idol. Is there anything you should check? Hmm. Geary. We shall check our communicator. Yeah. We shall check our communicator if it's working fine. Yeah, it's time to grab one of my Astro Citizen approved checklist printouts and run through it with the chosen piece of equipment. Tom gladly went over the checklist while making his true check. He found a small sachet of soup. Keep behind some console, even respectful, he offered you the snack. We could do it more cream crewmates like this, sir. You appear to be okay. Damn! Tom, you freaking MVP! Okay, trust Tom. Damn, he's the MVP. Sir, a world site has cropped up on my scanners. A dark, swirly sky planet is dead ahead. It's covered in a giant storm, but beneath the dark swirls, my scanners detect hazy, indistinct. Heat signatures and a multitude of structures. A thunderous world is probably an improvement over this mind boggling empty vacuum. Should I initiate the landing protocol, Captain? Wait. Oh! Oh. Yes! Let's freaking go! Progress! Let's go! Oh, damn! Okay. Please be safe. Please be freaking safe. Pobonos. Okay. At least our ship didn't get wrecked. On our de descent towards the storm ridden planet, crewmate Thompson piped up and said he recognized the storm below. Looks like our predictions for Earth after a Soviet nuclear attack is said with a pause. But with you in command, sir, we can weather anything. If Tom stood in mind, he beautifully di directed our craft away from particularly green parts of the atmosphere. Damn! Tom's the freaking MVP. And onto a safe resting spot on the planet. Unfortunately, however, atmospheric electricity fried the communicator on the way down. Once on the ground, Tom looked out and realized this wasn't at all like a nuclear Soviet attack. This was something else. This planet's surface has experienced a number of wars and traumas, nuclear or otherwise. We'd be best be wary while exploring, Captain. You appear to be still weak. Tom is still starving. Okay, okay. Captain, the expedition module in the back of the cabin has been activated. All you need to do now is stuff summon the space to and send them outside. We shall explore our surroundings carefully. Who knows what dangers await outside? One small step for Astro Citizen, one giant leap for whatever is left for humanity. Okay. So, we need to take a big risk to explore this planet over here. <clears throat> Captain, the expedition. Okay. We got it, we got it. And anyone notice that the our pipe is completely screwed? Ah, uh, crap. Hopefully that doesn't harm us. Captain, we shall get to know our surroundings a little bit better. Consider sending a crewmate out on a supply run. You remain quite alert. You're still hungry as a wolf. Eat something before it's too late. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, we gotta... The heck, come on. Didn't I craft a suit? You have no food whatsoever. Damn. Uh, should I use it? Ah, uh, crap. Captain's gonna freaking die. If I don't do something about this. Okay. Let's... Sir, are those tremors? Something's burning up from underneath us. 
Hmm. Rather than some kind of giant sandworm or periscope-like objects poking up from the gritty earth, it appears to be extending little prongs in various directions. Attempt to yank the strange tuber. Heck yeah! We're not backing up without a fight. Let's freaking go. Bring it on! Grab the periscope-like thing that popped up near the shuttle and gave it a good tug. It resisted, so he tugged again. Then he heard squeaks of alien panic emanating from below the earth. <sighs> he realized the periscope had extended the little siphoning tube and had tucked into the shuttle's fuel tank. It was charging our precious power, pumping it away into the ground. You kick at it and the thing imagined this log and disappeared into the dirt. Oh, come on. Where be careful. Damn it. Okay, let's feed Captain Emmett. Okay, everyone's starving. The leader is freaking weak. Let's read the task at hand. Captain, I am detecting a troubling buildup of mental tension. I recommend recommended course of action for an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. Invite the entire crew, but of course, the more the merrier, I guess. How about we invite someone new? Hey, Captain, someone you don't know, or we make ourselves a new companion? Yes. How do we do it? Uh, I don't actually have a sock puppet and I actually don't have a mask. So our only choice is to do nothing, you know? I can't do, can't do anything. Oh yeah. Okay, next day. Hey there, Captain Buzzkill. Feeling better? I bet you'd be better off after a night of partying with your friend. Astro, you're lost. You're up, you appear to still be in poor health. Tom is still in poor health. Megan is still starved. Crafting the new item available soon. You shall eat something, Captain. What? Didn't I eat something? Didn't I freaking eat something? Come on. Quit wasting your food supply. Crap. Fine, I'll give the. Hmm. Then we shall give it to Emmett. Then we shall find more supplies. Hmm, okay. The clang rings out against the shallow's hole. There isn't anything on the outside of the ship, so it must come from inside. You peek through a crack in the interior hole, paneling to find a stowaway. A little humanoid hiding in the damp shadows of the shell soul. Looks like one of those the suit skinned natives of this world. Would you like to try nab him by force or outwit him? Nab him by force? Uh, or intelligence? Let's freaking. Uh, let's use freaking brute strength. You botched your attempt to catch the alien stowaway, sir. You worked out which bit of hole he was hiding in. You worked your fingers into the panel crack, pulled with all your might, and threw out your back. I know psychiatrists. Psychotherapists. What the heck? Psychotherapists. Psychotherapies. What the heck? Your shoulder blades must be in a sore state. Your screams of agony terrified the little stowaway who fled the shell without hesitation. You remain quite alert. Thompson. Okay. 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 Ugh. You've got to be kidding me. He's gonna die at this rate. Oh crap. He's still looking like a champ. And Tom's still looking like a freaking champ there. So. Captain. I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. Looks like somebody passed their time by playing a super sized version of Tic Tac Toe, but never completed this particular game. The game piece consists of minerals that we could use. And I'm not one of for ruining someone else's fun, but I think the winner is clear by looking at the board. So they should not mind if you miss their O's and X. So we take the liberty of gathering in those pieces and using them as resources? Mm. This is too good to be true. Maybe while we're picking up the resources, they catch us and they're gonna attack us. Let's screw it. Let's take all their freaking resources. Day 19. Oh yeah! Ah, crap, but I didn't get any food supply. This, the dismantling of the super-sized tic-tac-toe game in progress was a success. Whoever abandoned it was nowhere to be seen and you returned with quite a hefty load of minerals. 
Yes, they were a bit hard to carry to the ship, being ginormous and all, but you perform splendidly. That will teach them to leave their toys lying on the floor or air plant surface. In this case, in front of the mine. So, can we craft something like tape with a lighter? Turn items into resources. Oh, this is freaking hard. Let's try making a light or something. Okay. Captain, we were able to de detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communications console has been damaged during landing. We cannot make anything out of them. Or reply for that matter. We can hardwire a primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged subsystems and access the shuttle's external transmitter and receiver. That's why I got the communication. The communicator. Yeah. So, damn, I think we need to sacrifice the magic for the food. Oh, man. It's freaking hard. Let's end the day. Hopefully, no one dies. Megan has not been eating. It's not eating for freaking days. Okay, yeah. Oh! What the heck? Well, that was a terrible ending. So, if you want more videos like this, I'll try to make it a series. You can comment something like, please more episodes and we'll be making them ASAP. So, thank you for watching everyone. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to become a promo today. And be sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss a sound from video. And as always, peace out.